from 18,711 yesterday. And sadly, of those hospitalized with the virus, 15,464 have now died. Hi Nancy, how are you doing? I'm feeling great. This meditating thing is really working. Oh, glad to hear it. In fact, I'm loving this lockdown thing. Oh, okay. I don't have to deal with any triggers being in here. It's like heaven. <laughs> That's great, but you do need to remember, Nancy, that this is all temporary. You don't want to get too comfortable with confinement. You're making so much progress. We just don't want it all to be for nothing. Yeah, of course. Are you going for your daily walks? Uh, yeah, yeah, I went this morning already. Oh, good. And how do you manage your work at home? It feels like I do so much more work now that I'm working from home. In fact, my boss sent me all this paperwork that he expects me to do in like a day. And I was like, if we was in the office, we wouldn't generally have to do this much work. But for some reason, now he thinks that I have all the time in the world to do all about it two, three days from now. And no, we should not threaten her life. And no, uh, she should be able to say, I'm sorry, and, and get back to work at some point. Dana, his name is Christian, so he could do something very Christian. Well, I bet you were disgusted by the way the dog was handled. <laughs> well, I think that if, here's what I would say to all dog owners. Is I know what you guys care about? about too. The bloody you dog. The leash because you want to let them have some freedom. If she had just put the dog on the leash. She wouldn't have been, been holding it by the collar. She could have walked away. She would still have her job. She would still have her dog. And now the dog doesn't have his mom either. So it's a, it's a terrible situation all around. Hey, Boo, how are you? I'm a good girl. So me, Emmy, Paris, and a few other people were gonna go down to the march today. And I was wondering if you wanna come with. Um, isn't that against the social distancing guidelines that Boris set out? Girl, you know that racism and systematic oppression are killing our people at a faster rate than any virus could. Plus, you know they're exaggerating the numbers, right? Um, yeah. So are you coming? I mean, I'd love to, but I just got all this work to do. Look, let me get some of this work done, and then I'll let you know, okay? Alright, well, I will call you back in a minute. Oh, babe, it's alright. Let me just get some of this work done and then I can call you back and I'll let you know. Mm, how okay, okay. yeah, babe. Bye. Love you. Mwah. The caller, she could have walked away. She would still have her job. She would still have her dog. And now the dog doesn't have his mom either, so it's a, it's a terrible situation all around.
whatever it is you're playing, it's just a bit aggressive and just loud. Aggressive? Well, I know you knew round dealer, but we just try to be mindful of others here. <laughs> I've been here for 15 years. Anyway, I was just trying to drown out the dog. Who's his dog? Oh, he's harmless. <laughs> he's loud. Well, I would just really appreciate it if you could just turn the music down, babe. Okay. Bye. Hi, Nancy. How are you doing today? I'm good, thanks. It's been a few weeks since we last spoke. What have you been up to? Just working, meditating, a lot of eating. Exercise, daily walks? Yeah, sure. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just tired. I'm gonna kill that bloody dog. Sorry? Can you hear that? Hear what? The dog. Yeah, I guess. It's just so annoying. Dogs are harmless, Nancy. You just need to channel your focus. Yeah, I know, to... I know. Okay. I just find it very disruptive. I see. So what's your solution then? Well, how does it make you feel, the dog barking? <sighs> Irritated, obviously. Use your trigger techniques. Deep breathing. Channel your focus to you the know what? Space. I've got a lot of work to do. Can we do this another time? Okay. Yeah, it's just, it's been a few weeks already and you seem quite stressed out about this dog I'm situation. fine. Um, okay. Just promise me that you'll get in contact if it gets too much. Okay. I will. Bye.